Well, we're back in. Um, feeling a bit better today. So I'm going to try and look at the horn. Now, those of you that watched the, the video about me riding the bike on the road, um, it's against the law really to have um, a bike on the road where you don't have an audible warning instrument or a horn. So um, I was missing something that goes on here and I'll show you in, in a second on a close-up. Um, so I ordered a, um, a bulb horn which that on the last clip as I drive by driving down the, uh, the country road you can hear me um, do that on the horn and I had it mounted here on the handlebars so I could just when I needed to do it but I was missing something I'll just do a close-up now and show you what I'm looking at that's what I didn't have so I'm going to try now I'll just take it off and then show you what I mean so when you squeeze the horn no noise so I'm going to try and fix it I'll just take it off now because I put it on so all I had was the hole that's there and I didn't have the horn part that goes in the middle. Oh boy, was I were looking for that and I couldn't find it anywhere, absolutely anywhere. But I was searching around in my garage for some lots and just tidying up really and I came across something that I'd put at the back of a drawer and completely forgot about. And would you believe it, it's the horn that goes in there. It's got the little reed inside and I'll, again I'll just do a close-up of it in a moment or two and it screws in into the threads that are there. So it goes in and then it screws in but no bulb. Not a problem I thought. I'll take the bulb off the one that I had on the handlebars and I'll put it on here. So I got some hot water and I stretched the bulb but it's not really making any beep 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 beeps. So today I'm going to try and see if I can clean this lot out and see if I can get it to go beep 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 like this one. Because that's the noise that I want from here. So I'm going to move it over to the bench and I'll show you where That's what we're looking at and that's what I found in the drawer Cone down that side and it's got some sort of reed valve thing in the middle um, but it's not working and I don't really know why it's not working Maybe it's completely bunged up and blocked up. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to have a go at doing it. But look at that. Somebody should make something like this. Because it is pure. When I try to get one on eBay and track things down. Um, there is absolutely no chance of finding the um, this little gadget. I suppose in some respects um, why would you need it because there's only the D1s and D3s that have the bulb horn so it probably isn't cost effective for people to make it um, but it can't be really hard it's just that valve that reed valve thing in the middle um, so I'm gonna see if I can like I say find out what's wrong with it and see if there's anything down there 
Um, what I need is a, a torch. So, let's have a look. Well, there looks to be a little bit of felt or something down there. I'm not too sure, but I can see some lines going down. And I can let's have a look if I can get the beam right. I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's anything blocking it down there. And it's impossible to see down there. You just can't see down there at all. So. But when you look down there, down the modern one, The reed valve is really wide open, if that's the name of it, reed valve. I wonder if you can take it off. I wonder if I could hmm. So what can I do? Can I take the reed valve out of here and put it in there? Can I make a replacement one of them? Do I want to? Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a go at taking this off this. Because at the end of the day, this is not going to work. But this one might. So what I might do is I might try an unsold of this. And then make a replacement one of them to replace this. First things first, let's see if we can get this lot off here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try now and release the solder on this cone thing to see if I can get it off.
Well, that wasn't too bad. need now is something to knock it through. I don't know if this will work but let's give it a go. I must have got it in by something, so let's see if I can get it out. Don't know how they did it in the uh, garage or in the factory, but let's have a go. As long as I don't break or damage that nut, I'm cool, because at the end of the day, I'll have two horns on the bike if I have to do. But cosmetically, it'll look all right because of uh, this bulby thing. I don't know if this will work. Hey, what do you know? Look! Oh, a Clear. And I haven't damaged the threads or anything. So. I'm just looking to see. It's got a straight bit. A straight bit there. Still to look. I'm just going to call this down so I can get all the work in it. Hmm, let's see. Get this one here. Oh, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Oh, now you're right on the floor.
and make this. There, I wonder. Hmm. Let's have a look. We can only try, can't we? Look at that thing. That's handy, but. I mean, these are only what 10 quid or so. Um, so I might be able to cut that off there, which will give me that length. Yeah? Cut that off there and then run the Dremel down there with the cutting disc and then close that gap so it fits there and then fit that onto that onto that and then we might be there let me just go get So, I need to make, without hurting that, something about there. I need to open that up so that
So, <clears throat> I know that the pipe fits now, um, but I don't want to do any soldering because I don't want to loosen anything up here. So, um, I'm just filling it with fine surface filler at the moment and I'll see if this works. And I'll sand it down because I want the, jo the joint to be airtight, obviously. Um, so I'm just filling it and we'll see how it goes, whether it works or not. So it'll go off in a moment or two, all this stuff. And then we'll see that it works. Just out of interest. Okay, right, so I've managed to charge the camera batteries up um, and the super glue seems to have dried okay down here now. So I'm just going to take that off and that's still going round. So let's see if we can show you how it looks. Hang up, try and focus it in. So it looks okay so far and the Stuff has uh, more or less gone off, so I'll just run some light emery paper over it just to smooth it out a little bit. See how that goes. So the proof of the pudding is, will it make any noise if this goes on the end? Well, let's have a listen. <laughs> so it works! <laughs> the next step is to fit this onto the bike and then uh, we'll see how we go from there. So. Let's move the camera angle and um, let's see if we can do it, eh? Show it. Okay, right, turn it off. Okay, right, so just before I move and put the little nut onto the headstock of the bike, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a thin piece of uh, insulation tape just round there, just as belt and braces really, for uh, just to make sure that it will be okay. So I've just got some ordinary black insulation tape. So I'm just going to put some insulation tape on it. Just to, just to give it a little bit of support. Just so you can see it, look. There. And now I'm going to move it over and I'm going to put it on the bike. So I'm going to turn the camera off. Okay, right. So, if you remember it goes in here. Now before I do anything, I think what I might do just put a smattering of grease on the threads, just just to help it 
really, for no other reason than the threads haven't been on for ages have they really. So here we go. kink in it. I have to see if I can sort that kink. A bit of a kink in so I need to square that kink up without breaking anything. putting all that stuff on. Just check. Almost. With that. I'm just gonna um, get some um, little some bit of Heath Robbins on this. But let's see if it works, shall we? Still. So it still seems to appear to be working. Still too big. You have to do some more braying. Check. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back. Let's see if it goes in this time. Just 
Let's check, see if we can do it, if it works. Let's see if I can get the bulb on. Hey, hey. <laughs> there you go. Working. There you go. Mended. Okay, so one of the things, because we're doing a bit, uh, see if we can get it to do it. I was a bit conscious that the bulb might pull off the top of the, the, the hold of the bulb, the bracket at the top. So I've just got a, a Jubilee clip, which I'm just going to tighten up to see if this will work. Just to nip it onto. and tight. Take that off there. So from um, being completely can't do it, can't, can't find one anywhere, utilising the old um, horn, 10 quid horn that was on the, that I bought off um, the internet, managed to find the unobtainable little bracket that goes on there and you've seen me make the horn, the replacement one of them, where is it, there, the replacement one of these which I'll keep this just in case I have to make anything else with it. We've gone from not having the horn for it to work. So it's back going beepy to beep. And I don't think that is from nowhere to to a working horn. And the good thing is if this breaks or rips off, I know that I can replace it because I know where to get them for 10 quid and that's it. So jobs are really, as they say, the jobs are all sorted out. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Bye now.